much. I think Doug, you were next with your question. Yeah, I have another question. This is to uh, Nani Baderos, and thanks so much uh, for coming here. Your new position has an incredible uh, potential, but it also makes it like a super hot seat, right? So, and I appreciate that. I want to ask a question that kind of somebody asked me to ask, and this is concerning, uh, you know, the uh, governor's emergency proclamations, which which cuts, uh, well, it's supposed to cut through red, uh, red tape, but this concerns the Ivi Kupuna, the uh, burial sites that are encountered. Um, and for, for everyone here that may not be familiar, these are Hawaiian burials. They're not people that just died and fell into the ground. These were people that were buried according to their tradition in areas designated for burial without the foreknowledge that land tenancy and that sort of stuff would change and would not respect uh, the burial site. Um, so my question is, with the, with those laws kind of temporarily uh, suspended under the emergency proclamation, how how, are, how will these burials be um, safeguarded, protected? Okay, thanks, Doug. Um, so two things, I guess, real quick is. Um, both the, the current draft of the emergency proclamation for affordable housing, I'm, I'm gonna speak to that one because James is the one who's responsible for the EP on homelessness and he knows more of those details than I do. But for the EP on affordable housing, the suspension of both chapter 6E and 343 is very limited in its current scope in the current draft um, to just affordable housing projects. And in the case of actually the the way the 343 exemption is currently worded, it's only for affordable housing projects that are actually redevelopment or reconstruction um, of an existing building facility housing project. It's replacing it. And it's in the general same area and the new purpose will be the same purpose as before. So it has to be a replacement essentially of housing for housing and it's affordable housing. So it's very limited. I don't know if we're going, like I said earlier, I'm still working on drafts with the AG and, and to be honest with you, my two main concerns are 60 and 343. And I don't want there to be some blanket suspension. I also don't want EPs that have to go on for years like the previous administration did. We would love for the legislature to entertain perhaps you know, um, four or five years of something and then sunset it and see what we can do. Um, I am Native Hawaiian. So I feel very strongly about um, both the protection of Evi Kupuna and the role of Shipti and ensuring that Shipti is an agency that can function well and efficiently and be supported the way they need to be supported for the work that they do. Um, so, so I hope that answers your question, Doug. It, we're not going to be putting forward some blanket, you know, 60 is gone, 343 is gone. Um, and, and also within, um, within the emergency proclamation, there is a provision that actually um, from, from the emergency powers statute chapter in HRS, one, I think it's 127, authorizes the governor to make appointments of officers or other employees. So the EP also establishes my position, the chief housing officer. And one of the things we're all, I'm talking through right now with um, with some of our staff here, is should we should we bring on more staff? You know, to your point, and I also want to make sure that we create we create some kind of a system and a process that evaluates affordable housing projects that want to come through under the EP, um, and that that process or system be more than just the chief housing officer, that it include the appropriate uh, members for review, recommendations, approval. Um, if we're going to, you know, if, for example, if, if, if there is, for whatever reason, a project qualifies for whatever the final language in the EP is for, for suspending part of 6E or the processes of 6E, I would still want somebody from Shipti or somebody from the Ivan Burial Council that this project is located on, on whatever team that we decide to assemble to review these project applications. I would still want somebody with that area of expertise at the table helping to review that project and give their input. 
Yeah, so, so I don't have the final process. I can't tell you what that exactly looks like, but I can't tell you what my intention is and what my intention is not. Thank you very much. And we have it on, on video, so there you go, <laughs> on the record.